welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising for the year 2018. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for the support, the likes, and the shares. I wish you guys would subscribe and send this video out so that more people, more Aries, can connect with this channel. Thank you for your support in the year 2017, the years before, and for all the um, subscribers, thank you so much. I'm wishing that all your wishes and dreams will come true for this new year. This is a wonderful, wonderful situation. These are wonderful experiences that are going to be coming in for you, Aries, in this year, 2018. This year, 2018, as the energy vibration of uh, um, justice so the year 2018 has the energy vibration of justice with the energy vibration of justice we have a sense of uh, um, bringing a lot of stuff a lot of karmatic stuff uh, to balance and this is going to be extremely wonderful okay so in this year it's going to be a positive year for you guys and uh, um, I'd like you to write down these numbers as I'm going to give numbers and I'm going to give uh, um, the best um, the best um, quarters of the year, the best months. Okay, so let's go forward and let's look at the situation. Um, um, the um, the best month is going to be February, which is a very positive month for a lot of people. The best month is going to be February. Um, and then we have June, July, February, June and July. And then we have December. Um, February, um, May is going to be a good month for you guys because the energy, your energy vibration is in May. So, so, so February, May, June, July, and December is going to be your best months. Okay. So remember, um, um, in the coming time, uh, for the energy vibrations, it's going to be, um, the best, best month is going to be February, May, um june july and december okay all righty um let's go and write these numbers down what you're you're going to be working with the energy of the star um the number 17 um number 15 number three and number 21 number three and number 21 number six you guys have a lot of numbers to work with so uh we're going and number seven so uh, that is your number so again let's do this again three seven eight seventeen six and fifteen and twenty one okay all righty um ladies and gentlemen we're going to go right in the reading in the month of January, you are going to begin the month of January with the energy vibration of an organization. This is good for a lot of people who have been looking for jobs. This is going to be very good. This is going to be very positive. The energy of the Hierophant, which is an urge energy, um, comes to balance and ground you out. And why? Because what is happening for you is that um, you're vibrating in a, an, an year of air energies and air and uh, fire doesn't really work wonderfully. So you're a fire sign and this is the energy vibration of uh, the hair sign. Okay, so um, this earth sign comes in to bring balance in January. So in January, there is going to be an organization for a lot of people are going to connect with organization situation that is going to really bring balance in your life. And this is going to be wonderful and positive 
in um, the month of uh, um, in the month of February a very very wonderful month this is going to be extremely good because what you're going to see is that you have two energies vibration to work with and one is the eight the infinity abundancy and one is that your wishes and dreams will be coming true so this is be this is going to be wonderful and very very positive okay whatever the situation is it's going to be balancing out and this is going to be perfect as we move forward we look at March and in March we have the energy of justice this is the energy of the year so um, whatever injustice whatever legalities that you have to deal with is going to happen in March for a lot of you and this is going to be clearing up once and for all a lot of endings is going to be coming in and these um, injustice that has been done to you is going to finally finally um, clear up okay and the truth is going to be coming out so as we recap your first three months of the year 2018 you are going to have to deal with an organization and this organization is going to help you um, and support you in a lot of many ways and it is going to help you to bring out certain aspect and certain situation it is finally going to bring balance to a situation that was injustice that has happened to you and this uh, situation can be karmatic or they can yet still be um, not only karmatic but hurtless situation that you have come in contact with other people that has uh, brought uh, to you to this place and this sort of a situation as we move forward um, in the second quarter we have in the month of April which is your birthday month we have the energy of balance so there is a sense of duality that a whole lot of you will be working with because your your birthday actually begins the ends of the end of March and this is another earth energy that is coming in to bring balance in your world so whatever that was as it was something that you have done to other people it's a karmatic situation that is playing out and some of you will need to find inner strength and balance to balance out certain situation in your life so I'm seeing a lot of people are trying to figure out how am I going to move on how am I going to move from this place to another place and this sort of a thing and then you're going to realize what as uh, what exactly has transpired and this is going to help you to clear up and move forward positive things in your life and understand what you have done it is just karma coming back to you okay so it's not bad it's it's going to be bad and uh, it's going to be a very um a balance balanced time what comes up in the month of May is positive because this is your energy vibration. This is good. Um, it is very strange that you guys are, um, your luck is coming in the month afterwards. And this do happen sometimes. So this is not very strange at all. Um, sometimes these sort of a things do happen and you just have to work with the flow. This is your energy vibration and this is wonderful. This is positive. What it is bringing um, to you is luck in ways that you weren't expecting it. This is really um, going to bring luck to a lot of uh, people in ways that you weren't expecting it and some of you some of you dreams and wishes are going to come through I can see the ladies like wow I didn't expect this this is good and it's going to make um, mostly affect the ladies the ladies or the ones that this luck is going to be coming in for in the year 2018 okay as we move forward to June, June is going to be very, very promising. Another earth sign that is here helping you Aries in the month of, uh, in the year 2018, you have the energy of the, the world. And this is wonderful and this is positive. The world didn't really come up a lot for the rest of the sign who I have read. I haven't finished doing the readings, but um, this energy of the world is coming up right beside the energy of the devil, which is your energy vibration, which is a so positive, so um so I, this is going to be good because what is happening is that the energy of uh, your energy vibration is going to help you to make things dreams and reality come through that you weren't expecting so this is good so as we recap and we look at the um the second half of the year these are very wonderful energies because you have two earth energies that is balancing you out and this um is positive for you guys because this doesn't happen to a lot of people this I'm seeing happening for you guys this doesn't happen to a lot of people and this is good because this is what it is doing it is coming in and it is bringing positive energies in your life and this is going to be 
um, very very good so the first half of the year is um, going to be better than the second half the first half of the year from January until June is going to be very positive for you Aries in this uh, in this year 2018 we're moving forward and we're moving forward to the month of July which is going to be extremely good it's going to be a month of victory and success for a lot of you a lot of movement is going to be happening a lot of people will be changing resident changing work changing house changing things in their life and this is going to be extremely positive you're going to be seeing that you're buying new cars new house and that sort of a thing that sort of a movement you're changing jobs and that sort of a thing that is going to be coming in in the month of July it's going to July is going to be be an extremely positive month for you guys whatever you're planning for do it in July make sure that July is the month you are going to use to do this as we move on to August uh, August is a very lucky month and you guys get a very very lucky energy and this energy is the Empress and the Empress comes in in July to make sure that all your materialistic uh, um, all what you need all your materialistic situation are there and um, it's going to help you so if you're looking for financial help money investment um, whatever you're looking for to support you on your journeys you are going to be receiving this in August it's a very lucky month for you guys August is extremely lucky as we move on to September September is going to be a month where information is going to be coming at you September in this year 2018 is a changing month okay it's a changing month It's a month where um, the arrows of changes breakthroughs and information are going to be coming at you some of you can use this information some of you are going to realize that the information that is coming in is just so profoundly that it's pouring out and this information is you know you need this information is going to change a lot of stuff for you a lot of stuff and you are going to be um, have to find the true part for yourself so be um, aware of this that September is going to be a month of breakthroughs breakthroughs are coming in for you guys in the month of September as well as we look at this quarter it's actually a very good quarter the third quarter of the year which is from July until September is going to be good for you guys because you're starting out on a very positive note your financial um, situation will be in balance and at the end of the day what you're seeing here is that information and um, breakthroughs are going to be coming through as we move forward to the last quarter we are beginning in October October you have the energy of debt and transformation so there is a lot of changes that are coming in these are um, really changes that needed to happen and need to be um, these changes really really needed to be happen because you are a lot of stuff are ending and you're moving away from certain things a lot of stuff are coming to an end in your life and you're moving away from a lot of stuff in your life Life and you're moving to positive energies forward in your life and this is going to be good okay in the month of November November um, a lot of people get the energy that in November you are going to be f um, con um, fighting with um, um, or um, let's say conflicts there's going to be conflicts with you and uh, um, your enemies people who have done you injustice and because of the information that comes out you if you have done injustice to other people or they have done injustice to you vice versa you are going to see that you have to contend with them in November and that means you have to uh, you're going to be in a clash in a clink with these people in the month of November so um, whatever the situation is whether you have work on the positive side or on the negative side this is what that is going to be coming out for you in the month of November as we look at December we have the energy vibration of the number eight the energy of inner strength the eight comes up so a lot of infinity um, um, 
and you are going to find need to find inner strength in the month of December because for you Aries um, it's going to affect you because whatever the information that is coming out for you um, towards you Aries whatever information whatever secrets whatever that uh, what you have done it's now coming out and you need to find inner strength for yourself to move on so whatever that has transpired and whatever that you that have um, you have done to other people this is going to come out and you are going to need to find inner strength because whatever that has transpired um, people are going to be coming at you but you are protected and you need to protect yourself in this time okay so as we recap at the last three months of the year 2018 it's not going to be one of those of the most positive positive because there is going to be uh, and, and it can be positive depends on how you look at it because um, it's an end to all your enemies is an end to all the people um, who have worked against you and who have tried to block your movement to your success in life there is coming an end to these people and you're finding inner strength to move forward and change your life your energy vibration your energy vibration is going to be the energy of the moon uh, the eye princess I'm sorry I see the moon so I'm thinking that so your energy vibration is going to be the energy of uh, the eye princess so the eye princess this year for you Aries is a time when you are going to be finding this inner strength to connect with your guides and angel because you're going to need this in this year because it's not a bad year but you have to contend with a lot of your enemies a lot of people who have been working against you there's a lot of luck that is coming in whatever you know and it depends it depends on what energy vibration you have been working on if you have been working against people this is going to affect you a lot in this year if you have been working for yourself and to support yourself and your endeavors then it's going to be a wonderful positive year the eye princess is coming out in this year for you guys to support you so again with justice and the eye princess um, the energy of justice is always karmatic balance earthly balance of things that was injustice and the energy of the intuition and guidance is going to come out because you need you are going to really need strength to go through this year 2018 okay so once more again um, hold tight um, there are positive energies the months that are good for you um, is um, February um, May and June July and December okay you in the last part of the year you're starting it out good in July but what is going to happen there is going to be a lot of things that are affecting you because um, your enemies there is going to come a finally a debt to the transformation of your enemies debt to transformation of your enemies uh, and people who have been blocking your way and there is going to come an end to this okay so let's go right ahead and look at your um, your zodiac energy for the year 2018 so um, I want to say to each and every person may um, the month of your birthday because um, for the people who were born in um, March you are going to have the energy of justice duality so you are going to feel a shift in, in yourself and a shift with things around you and then in um, April you have the energy of earth bringing balance to this and this is going to be good June uh, April, May June and July is going to be good your second quarter from April till June is going to be the best for you guys we're going to go on and look at the energy vibration for the Aries. Oh my gosh. And um, let's see what zodiac energies is going to affect the sun, moon, and rising sign. And again, remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay. So let's go ahead and look. For the sun people, remember you are the people who were born between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. And you have to deal with um, Virgo and the Pisces. No, the Capricorns. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is good. Isn't this good? So 
Venus. So a lot of you Aries people have to deal with Venus, the planet of Venus and the Capricorn. So I didn't see anything for love. So this could be coming in for business for you people. So um, a lot of you are going to be connecting with the Capricorns and this is going to be wonderful. Um, we're in love. Um, a lot of people are going to be connecting with the Capricorns and working out stuff, um, karmatic injustice with the Capricorns and that sort of a thing and the energy of love. So this is going to be powerful. So for you Aries, you are going to be dealing in love relationships and uh, business relationships with the Capricorn, whatever that you have done to them. Um, be careful because the eye princess is coming up because the Capricorns are people that are so spiritually and so powerfully spiritually. And um, whenever people do things to them, it's, it's, it's as if the universe, and there's always a way that the universe is going to come out and, and, and clear up this by removing certain aspects of what has transpired. You have Uranus. So let's look at um, the energies for uh, the moon people. And these are the people who were born 6 p.m. to 6 to 12 a.m. Okay, and you are going to have to deal with Uranus and the Aquarians, and the energy of Uranus and the Aquarians for you guys is powerful because the Aquarians are going to come in to help you to awaken your psychic, and Uranus is a kind of moving out stuff. Um, and, and, and helping you to connect with your true mighty I am present self because your energy vibration is the I princess. So this is powerful for you um, Aries in this two, year 2018. It's going to be extremely powerful because the Aquarians are coming in to help you to understand the intuition, the unseen world because you're a grounded sign that don't believe in this sort of a thing and it's going to help you to connect to your spirit guide. So when the Aquarians and Uranius come, because the Aquarians are ruled by Uranius, you are going to see this actually coming up and this is working out. So you need to be aware of this and you need to open up and understand yourself um, in 2008, okay? Let's go on and we're working with the Ascension um, deck. So let's see what is coming out for the Ascension cards for the energy of the um, Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of uh, the year 2018. And let's see, you have um, Mother Mary, um, Mary Magnally, Mary Magnally, and she says, um, I intuit my truth and the spiritual part of dealing with it. So read here, and this is going to be your affirmation. Mary, um, Mary as um, Mary Magnali is one of those really positive angels. And um, hold on, I gotta get my glasses, so I'm not stopping the video. I'm back. <laughs> so, okay. Mary Magnali um, and another eight comes up, which Mary Magnali has the number of uh, 38. Mary Magnali comes up and she says, um, Mary Magnali was the eye into it in the order of the ascents and the spiritual partner of Jesus. And a lot of people in a lot of churches will, it, will deny that Jesus was married and that he had a girlfriend, but Mary Magnali was Jesus' girlfriend. She is now the master of the sixth ray, raising the dog, the dogma, dogma into spirituality. So um, this year, and this is why the eye princess came up for you, is that Mary Magnali is coming through the eye princess to help you to um, um, rise the energy of the dogma into spirituality. Okay, so um, you have a lot of duality, especially in your, the months of your birthday, which is uh, the end of March and the, and, and the beginning of April. You have justice and you have uh, the energy of temperance. Mary Magdalene, the Ascension Retreat in Marcel, Marcel, that is France. 
she radiates a glow a buttercup yielding light to all who attune to her her light was isden from us um from for centuries as she was misjudged about her role in jesus life and this is what i've just said to you in the beginning um if you have felt wrongly or misunderstood Mary Magnally offers you the courage to maintain your integrity so this is an invitation to attune to Mary Magnally to receive her blessings so I maintain my truth and see the spirituality in all things and this is um, something to say because um, sometimes you judge people unjustly and sometimes we do judge people unjustly and Mary Magnally again with the eye princess is coming out in the year 2018 to help you guys to heal a situation that either you were misjudged or someone else was misjudged okay so let's look at this and let's see what is happening for you guys and let's understand what is really happening so um, we're using the as um, the Aztec um, deck and you have uh, the eight and this is uh, um, Archangel Raphael coming in this is the energy of Archangel Raphael coming in so if you notice you guys are receiving a lot of help in the um, that the the laying out of the reading you have eight twice and then you have eight with mary magnalee coming in with her energy and now you have the number eight so a lot of infinity abundancy is going to be happening for you guys but this is going to be happening under um a lot of things are going to be coming out for you guys this is going to be happening under the surface so let's look and see because we have Archangel Michael which is blessing you in the year 2017 and let's uh, look and see what Archangel Raphael I'm sorry so Archangel Raphael Archangel Raphael walks down a part and approach sharing his healing and uplifting light he is performed loving uh, he's a performing loving spirit who has an important role in bringing the Aztec power to you? Okay, so the Aztec calendar that, and um, he can um, share all these intentions and experience with you and more. Of all the angels, Archangel Raphael most often come in the genius of a human. This card can indicate that helpful people may be attending you right now. It also um, a portend and portrayed a time of great achievement in your personal life. And Archangel Raphael is opening up the doors to the doors to blessings abundance with this um, card okay so the card is upright and with this card being in the upright position there may be renewal of a lost dream there may be a renewal of a lost dream a reuniting of family members or a healing perhaps of a physical condition or a broken heart even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while now in the time when you can really break through let Archangel Raphael be your partner in this process and you will soon see why they call him the miracle worker so this is wonderful you have a uh, Mary Magdalene and Archangel Raphael and this is good because trust me Archangel Raphael when he he is the evil angels and he's also the angel of abundance and Archangel Raphael when he comes in he's going to come in with healing and if you call upon Archangel Raphael and I'm giving you three minutes to call upon Archangel Raphael and ask for divine intervention in healing yourself, healing your heart, body, mind, and soul, and also heal your financial abundancy for this new year. And um, take these three minutes to um, contemplate 
and call upon him and when you're finished say it is done and it will be and I will do this together with you um, we're calling upon Archangel Raphael the angel of healer and the angel of miracles to come in for these aquare um, Aries people um, the Aries Sun Moon and Rising to um, touch open and activate their third eye and their art chakras but also um, heal their body mind and soul I'm asking Archangel Raphael at this time to touch open and heal their financial abundancy so that this year 2018 will be a performed wonderful year for you guys it is so and it will be okay so that is a good price to come back and listen to whenever um, things is going array which I hope not because it's as if uh, um, these healing and these situation is going to be taking place and going to be clearing up okay so let's uh, go forward and let's look at certain aspect that is happening for you guys in this month and we're using the conscious year we're using the conscious spirit and you have throat chakra I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs too isn't this wonderful I speak my throat and encourage others to speak theirs too this is a wonderful wonderful um, energy um, so speak your truth you Aquarius you Aries why am I always calling you Aquarius speak your truth because um, I always do that and um, speak your truth and encourage others to speak theirs too okay so let's go forward and see what the angels of abundance have for you guys power of prior give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prior okay so isn't this wonderful I just did a prior and then you have the power of prior coming up so this is how my angels and guides work so I'm wishing you a really 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 wonderful year because this is this is this is just powerful because I just made a um, did a prior with you and then you have the power of prior so give the situation whatever the situation is to God for uplifting and healing God and Archangel Raphael and be open to the miracles because Archangel Raphael is an angel of miracles he brings miracles to you if you ask for a miracle with your financial situation you ask for a miracle for healing whatever is happening to you he always brings this healing to you your color for the year is blue blue the throat chakra you need to work with your throat chakra and speak the truth whatever it is you need to work with your throat chakra and speak the truth be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you in response to your prior so a lot of stuff is going to come out because the prior has been answered and this is how um, um, when you pray uh, um, from a pure and clean place as I pray for people you always realize that the priors um, the angels give me the answers <laughs> I want to say to each and every person please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign please share this video um, please go and listen to the general energies and please look up and accept the new things that are coming in your color is going to be blue and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here namaste until next year